All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back. It is Saturday, the 3rd of September, and a lot of great events coming up this month, but we still got to get through the stuff we did last month here in review. And our vintage Bordeaux tasting, you know, this is one of those events we did just because we can, because we had the wines. You know, sometimes I'll walk through the store and I'll see, oh, the last bottle of 1966 Lynch Bash. We need to drink that. And I'll put an event on this calendar to do just that. And this tasting, uh, I don't have anything to sell here. The last bottle, even the white that we opened was the last bottle that I had in the store, the 2001 Chateau Carbonneau, which is drinking really nice. Some nice candy grapefruit and melon quince, a little gravel minerality to the nose. Wonderful richness on the palate. You know, these white Bordeaux, when they get mature, they just have this lovely richness, this lovely palate feel, and uh, a lot of minerality to this wine. Really well-balanced acidity, though. These wines can go 10, 20, 30 years or more in a great vintage. Excellent juice none to sell. All right, the Chateau Margaux 1995. Uh, well, you know, I think we tasted the old wines first, but I'm going to review them in the, the order my notes are. 1995 always been a little bit of an austere vintage to me. This wine needed a little time to open up, but after it did, you started to notice some of the fruit come out, uh, some cigar box spice, um, and uh, some really nice earthy qualities too. And like I said, 95 really need needed a little time on release and still today a little bit austere this wine had some lovely freshness though on the palate red cherry plum like fruit velvety tannins but that firm acidity still holding and uh some barnyard notes coming in through the finish needs a little time still but most excellent juice this 1995 chateau margot the la mandat this is the year before um the count neoport bought this property so I got hoodwinked when I bought this one from a collector, trading them for it. And the 96 is the first year that uh, this property has become really highly sought after. But, you know, it's the same dirt. It is the exact same earth, approximately 800 cases, 30-year-old parcel, 100% Merlot, planted on a hillside between La Terte Rodebuff and Canon Le Gaufier. Le Gaufier and... Uh, really really uh, sweet this wine started to come out of its shell it was always kind of devoid of fruit and uh, this wine still had some nice earthy characters to it but that red plum fruit really starting to show nicely soft and some coffee aromas on the finish really nice and round on the palate drinking the best that I've ever had this wine like I said fairly disappointed every other time I've had it but starting to come out of its shell now the 89 Chateau Leoville Barton definitely out of its shell 89 a really warm vintage bit of a green peppercorn and mint note to the current and cassisberry fruit good amount of fine herbs and uh, but that mint note kind of really predominating in the nose after uh, before this wine opened up and some gravelly minerally notes there as well quite fresh on the palate still with fine tannins and a good amount of spice in the finish really well balanced wine these 89s drinking you know at or near their peak they'll probably still hold for another 10 20 years but really showing nicely the Montrose still a little monster a meaty kind of dried sausage note some light smoke incense fresh proud dark earth a bit of a beef stew like nuance to the nose maybe a slight oxidative uh, quality but uh, still quite fresh on the palate a lot of cassis and uh, cherry fruit notes of fine herbs cigar box spice really nice structure here this wine a little monster all right the leoville las casas 85 this is a vintage that is drinking beautifully right now i just love the 85 vintage and uh, we had the 85 mouton earlier in the year and just soft and decadent on the palate this got some lovely tobacco spice kind of black current fresh gravelly minerally nuance there as well uh, fresh earth fine herbs really complex bouquet and lovely elegance again on the palate these 85s not a hard edge to be found in them anymore just kind of at a plateau and I think again you know these better wines are going to last for 10 more years easily in your cellar the 1970 Obreon unfortunately was not a good bottle it was slightly oxidized and you know kind of di disappointing but out of eight wines we only had one that was not up to snuff. I think everything else, a great example of that wine. The 66 Lynch Bage, wow, wonderful spice on the nose here. This wine only scored 87 points. It was the wine of the night, in my opinion, and many of the tasters here as well. Cigar box, kind of dried earths, herbs, lovely bouquet, uh, really light on the palate, but uh, still had nice freshness on the finish. And you notice that lovely red currant berry fruit shining through there till the end. A beautiful wine. A great night and a great time was had by all. That's what we had to drink at the Vintage Bordeaux Tasting. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni. Oh, wait, I still got more drinking to do here. What am I talking about?